This is the tutorial video for the Yamaha Reface DX Example Voice Lush Pad Example. So this is the other approach to creating a pad where I've decided to go with a little less harmonic complexity but to get a more lush or thick pad by choosing Algorithm 8. In our complex pad example we used Operator 5 which had three modulators feeding into the one carrier. Uh, but here I've chosen algorithm 8, so I have our two separate two operator stacks. This allows us to uh, detune them relative to one another, so it's like we're detuning two separate oscillators. Uh, let's review the structure here. Again, we have ops 1 and 2 making up our first stack, ops 3 and 4 making up our second stack. So let's uh, hear what this guy sounds like. right off the bat has got a lot more thickness and lush quality to our uh, sound than the uh, complex pad example. So let's break this down. Um, again, we're going to turn off our effects because I do have a little bit of that going on here. And let's look at our individual parts. So the operator 1 and 2 stack, we've got operator 1 at a value of 2.0 for the frequency and operator 2 at 1.0. Uh, with the settings I have here for level and feedback. This gives us a pulse wave type of timbre. For operators 3 and 4, I have went with 1.00 for op 3 and 2.0 for op 4. As you know from previous examples, this will give us the uh, classic square wave type of sound. So, as we mentioned in the article, we've got to find a ways to uh, compensate a little bit for our lack of harmonic complexity that we have because each stack only has one modulator. So, we're going to take a really close look at the settings I have here for the levels and the rates for the uh, modulator operators. For operator 2, we start at 93, we go down to 56, and then up to 127. Uh, medium rates at the beginning, but a very slow rate on the return up to the high level. Uh, this gives us the little uh, softer pulse attack, but as we hold sustained notes long enough, we're going to have a lot of harmonic content come in. So let's play this in isolation. <laughs> So as we hold this long enough, again, we have the harmonic content and brightness shifting. Turn these guys off. Turn and turn back on ops 3 and 4. And now we're going to see how we've set this up. Um, the levels for operator 4 are 96, 34, and 127. So again, starts high, goes low, goes back up even higher, similar to what we did for op 2. But our rate settings are different so that it uh, mirrors it but doesn't actually match the time um, behavior of operator 2. So let's hear that. So for the modulator operators 2 and 4, even though the overall shape is similar, the time settings and the levels are different so that they don't line up exactly. That way the harmonic contributions are mixing and matching over time to again compensate for the uh, lack of modulators to give us a lot of uh, harmonic shifting by bringing in a whole slew of different modulators as we did in the complex pad example which used algorithm 5. Um, a couple of other things, you'll notice that on one of the stacks we did a little uh, pitch envelope uh, to give us a little attack sweep, and in the other stack we have the vibrato. Um, this is a trick I use to, quote, analog up our sound to create a lot of uh, pitch instability in it. So um, here's the whole sound again with the effects off. <laughs> So you can 
here, in contrast to our complex pad example voice with the single carrier, even without the effects, this voice, because of the detuning, the uh, pitch envelope, the pitch mod tricks, has that much thicker detuned sound that we don't get with the single carrier. So uh, we, of course, enhanced it with our effects here. Uh, a little bit of reverb. This is without the flanger. back in because even though it inherently has a lot more of that uh, detuned richness I just really wanted to punch it up again as always make sure you take some time play around and tweak the various uh, values for the uh, frequency parameters and play with your levels and feedback and feedback types. You can change the time characteristics by messing around with your rates in your envelopes and of course whether it goes high, low, low, high or just decays and never comes back, play around with your envelope uh, levels as well. So hopefully that's helped highlight the uh, differences between the two approaches. Uh, between the uh, pad sounds, whether or not we go with one carrier and a lot of modulators for more complex and uh, controllable harmonics versus a more lush approach using less modulators but more carriers to give us a thicker sound because we can do the quote oscillator detuning um, to thicken up our sound. So until next time, happy editing! <laughs>